The Dr. Fossil Show is brought to you by Health Tips Media. The Dr. Fossil Show is intended for health education purposes only and complies with all HIPAA regulations. All of the CDC guidelines for COVID-19 safety were followed while filming this episode of The Dr. Fossil Show. Thank you for joining us for the July 2021 episode of The Dr. Fossil Show, where the trenches of the combat zone of COVID-19. We have Dr. Fossil here viewing from the binoculars. What do you see on the perimeter, Dr. Fossil? So, uh, welcome audience to July 2021, 419 Dr. Fossil uh, TV show. Uh, Jose, uh, I see that uh, there's some huge changes coming to uh, COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, the main change I see is um, the Delta virus. The Delta virus is a new mutation which is happening uh, uh, worldwide now. Uh, let me give you a little history about Delta virus. It started back in India. Uh, as we know, they have a huge population, 1.2 to 1.4 billion people live there in a tight-knit community um, in a very combined uh, family system. So uh, when uh, this COVID-19 virus uh, spread to that country, they did not have immunization and that caused, um, it gave the opportunity for the virus to replicate and the virus is replicating billion of time, billionth of time per second. And as we know from our uh, experience as a, in a medical profession, that uh, more virus replicates, the more chances gonna get to mutate. Somewhere we're gonna get a virus which is gonna bypass all the arsenal we have. That includes the uh, vaccine and and uh, treatment for COVID-19 like remdesivir and uh, convalescent plasma. And uh, it is a survival of the fittest. Uh, so, so that have generated a new uh, virus we call uh, with a double mutation, but this is different than the UK double mutation and the name of this virus has been given Delta virus. What was that about? I think it was a, a Delta virus attack, Delta virus mutation attack, yeah. Got to be careful. It was near miss, my God. So the Delta virus is uh, more contagious and more deadly. Um, why it spread from India? Because India is a, such a big host, uh, such a big population. They didn't have infrastructure to combat that in early phase. And then uh, it caused, uh, it gave a chance to virus to replicate and, and uh, mutate to the next level uh, virus. Uh, we already know this virus has have gain of function and it already have a tendency to jump from human being to human being. Uh, but this one is actually more, um, unfortunately more um, more um, more contagious and this virus caused um, um, it the, the new strain of the virus called data virus uh, become more prevalent virus because it is more contagious more deadly is different than the previous versions and it has spread, uh, now in UK it is a, a dominant strain. At the, this time, 20% of the US population have uh, this new strain. And the prediction is what I see uh, that in next four weeks, it will become the dominant strain in USA. Dr. Fazo, what is the threat to the US that we're facing since we've vaccinated 65% of our population? Well, there's a great threat to those uh, uh, part of the population which have not vaccinated yet. And also great threat to those people who have only one shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, so they're still un, uh, unimmune. And again, as we know, this uh, Delta virus is more contagious and more deadly that means those patients which have not got uh, a vaccine for one of what, whatever reason it might be, they are definitely gonna be a victim to this uh, virus because uh, they're not using the mask uh, and they are, especially indoor, there's a lot more chance for this virus to uh, spread. 
and um, with the new mutation obviously it is have a lot more capability of causing damage than with the previous versions so my advice to the audience would be to please go ahead and get the vaccine done if you have done taken only one shot take the second shot be ready because uh, this is just one of the next version delta who knows there's another version might be coming after that so it would be very unfortunate if we do have the vaccine and we don't use it uh, and uh, in hope that it will just go away for this pandemic to go away the whole world have to be inoculated and that's if we don't do it then who's gonna do it because we already have it and we're not doing it then it would be really uh, sad and uh, the countries which are not very uh, uh, wealthy country they are, have their own reason to not to give it but here we should have no reason to not to have the vaccine um, we are in a real uh, deep part of the uh, the battle at this time which is COVID although as I said it is uh, seems like we have no lockdowns and life is back on track but it can change at any time you can change at any time it's not all, all over till it's all over Now you can catch up with all of our previous shows on all Roku devices. Simply search for the Dr. Falso Show channel and add it to your home screen. View our videos online by visiting our website at www.drfalsoshow.com. Our videos are available on YouTube by searching for The Dr. Fossil Show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Dr. Fossil Show is available in multiple provider office waiting rooms across Yuma, Arizona. Don't forget to get your copy of Health Tips magazine and read about this interview, currently distributed across Yuma, Arizona. And Dr. Fazo, what is this that we're hearing about black mold in India? So the black mold is, uh, we are seeing that black mold is actually a very rare infection uh, which can happen in the, any part of the body, skin, tissues or lungs. Uh, generally we see worldwide very few cases every year. But recently it has been an, another epidemic of black mold infecting people uh, to the extent that they have to amputate the body parts, uh, eyes, limbs, and people are dying of uh, the black mold. And the reason is that they got black mold there is because uh, because of the recent COVID-19, uh, people who have got COVID-19 there and recovered, uh, their immunity has dropped due to, um, you know, uh, use of medication like steroids. And uh, this black mold uh, is a opportunistic infection. So if your immunity is low, is going to spread and the treatment is very difficult to treat because once it's become invasive uh, the treatment is surgical amputation of the body parts some most of the time it can kill you it can spread to the bloodstream the treatment is, is amphotericin b is very expensive now they have a shortage of that and i'm seeing that there are a lot of people have another uh, problem now to deal with that is a black mold black mold is a complication of covid 19 infection so although we do say here that, uh, you know, we got COVID-19 infection or we will get COVID-19 infection and we'll, and we'll get immunity that way. But what we're seeing, again, we're seeing from another continent, 
a real life real time example that uh, having covid-19 and recovering is not without any danger it does have a danger like here we see a black mold epidemic on top of the covid-19 epidemic and for that black mold we don't have much treatment available at this time very difficult very painful uh treatment and very uh painful death if it does happen so we have to be careful again the message stays the same please go ahead and get yourself vaccinated because um especially those people who have only one shot and have no shots at all they might get away with the previous version of covid-19 but the new version of covid-19 which is delta mutation it has no mercy for nobody it doesn't uh recognize a race color or gender it is ruthless virus so we need to act like the same kill this virus in the trenches kill this virus uh before it it gets to the real threat to the humanity and uh it is going to be a dominant strain within next 4 weeks by the time this uh, show is being aired uh my prediction is that uh, as i see that this is going to be a dominant strain in USA and again those people who have not got vaccinated those are the people who are at risk and dr fazal how's the delta virus doing in the uk well jose and uh as we know uh uk already got uh, vaccination as of now the dominant strain of covid-19 in uk is delta uh, virus and uh, we have seen uh, good results that people who have got vaccination uh they were immune from delta virus so although uh is a new strain but uh, we still have an upper hand on this thing so the vaccination did help so this is not just coming from the gut feeling this is coming from the real time example from another country which have had already a dominant strain of delta virus and they're still doing okay Now you can catch up with all of our previous shows on all Roku devices. Simply search for the Dr. Fossil Show channel and add it to your home screen. View our videos online by visiting our website at www.drfossilshow.com. Our videos are available on YouTube by searching for The Dr. Fossil Show. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Dr. Fossil Show is available in multiple provider office waiting rooms across Yuma, Arizona. Don't forget to get your copy of Health Tips magazine and read about this interview, currently distributed across Yuma, Arizona. What is your opinion on the theory of the lab leak? So your question is that if this virus came from Wuhan lab or it came directly from bats. So what as far as our investigation is concerned it was a man-made virus because you can tell by looking at the genetics of this virus the gain of function for whatever whatever reason it might be I mean I'm not uh, pointing any fingers or making any judgment at this time because this is not my specialty. uh but being in a medical profession uh we do know that this virus was man made i don't have any uh expertise that why was it uh man made uh, but we do know that it was man made uh the original virus came from bats and it was given a, a gain of function uh what the gain of function means that a virus was 
uh, genetically modified so it can jump from humans to humans without going to the animals um, and um, you know um, uh, being more contagious and uh, not deadly and I think there's a point to be made here because if it was deadly it will kill the host and the infection will stop right there so it is contagious but not deadly enough to kill a lot of people so so it can keep spreading so this is again a function which was uh, probably produced artificially and since it was man-made so it has to come from lab so the lab theory uh, holds the lab theory, lab leak theory holds again accidental or not accidental i have no say on that but as far as i can put the dots together it, it was it was man-made and it came from a lab and it has gain of function and we know it has caused damages and we know it has caused a lot of a loss of lives and we know it has caused indirect damages by lockdowns financial damages and other medical conditions like black mold in India. So it is real. Uh, it is worldwide. Uh, it cannot be 190 countries just making up the stories. It's a real virus, man-made. That's the fact. Um, again, I think at this point, I would just say is that let's move on and try to protect from this virus and then let the specialists worry about where it came from and how it came from. As a medical profession, professional, uh, my job is to educate uh, my audience, my patients, our public, our community, that please take it seriously and go ahead and get your vaccine and uh, be safe. And Dr. Fauzo, we've heard about some side effects from the vaccine on younger adults. How do you feel about that? Well, what we have heard that any uh, young adults, uh, 12 years and older, especially 16 to 19 years of age, uh, uh, adults which got vaccine, they got a rare side effect of heart infection. We call it myocarditis. It is the inflammation of the muscle of the heart. Um, that's the most uh, pre predominant population which has got uh, this uh, complication. and. The reason might be because the younger population have a lot more strong immune response. So they produce a lot more immunity against this virus than other population. And that's why they got this complication. Um, but it's treatable. It's not life threatening in most of the cases. And it is uh, easily be treated by a nominal treatment. So it is there, but again, we are vaccinating millions of people. We do expect some side effects. Right. And it could be prevented by giving, modifying the dose in some fashion, maybe give only one shot instead of two shots to this young adults, or give a different kind of vaccine which have less immune response. There are options. So we don't have to give the same kind of vaccine to everybody. It could be tailored based on their age and gender. So, um, and the dose complication could be reduced, but doesn't mean that we don't have to vaccinate those patients or those people, they still, still need to be vaccinated. As I said, because the reason is not just for them, but for everybody. Because if they have vaccine, if they have not got a vaccine, even they don't get sick, they still become a host. If they become a host, they're letting the virus to replicate. Once the virus replicates, it mutates. So it is not just for, for, for one person or two person, it's for everybody. You don't want to be a host of a virus. Or do you? You don't, right? Yes. That's what I said. Dr. Fazel, what is your message for our audience? My message to the audience is uh, we are very lucky that we have this uh, treatment against COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, please go ahead and embrace that COVID-19 vaccine. If you have only got one shot, get the second shot. If you're not vaccinated at all, Please take uh, uh, advantage of this uh, vaccine and go ahead and get this vaccine. Uh, that's my message because that's the only protection we have. Don't do it for yourself if you think you're doing, you don't want to do it for yourself. Do it for your neighbors. 
do it for humanity do it for your kids because if you even don't get sick you will become a host and it will mutate if you are not letting it die and it will cause more mutations and again at this point we want to uh, get over this virus fast before it becomes to the next level strain and also we have known that not only if you get COVID and you might become sick from that and you also have this uh, virus to mutate but it also causes other complications like black mold. In India after COVID-19 epidemic uh, which is still going on they have a big epidemic of black mold which is a very fatal condition that seemed like another complication of, uh, of, of uh, people who have got COVID-19 and recovered now they're getting black mold. That's my message to the audience. Please stay safe. We'll be back next month, hopefully with the better news. Uh, hopefully this pandemic would be over, but either way, we'll keep you updated. Thank you and have a nice day. God bless. Thank you for joining us for the July 2021 episode of the Dr. Fazo Show and the trenches of the combat of COVID-19. Stay tuned, we'll be back next month. Thank you.